A few years ago, with my colleague Emmanuel Charpentier, I invented a new technology for editing genomes. It's called CRISPR-Cas9. The CRISPR technology allows scientists to make changes to the DNA in cells that could allow us to cure genetic disease. Hi guys, it's Steve from Disruptive Wealth Creation. If you could only have one stock, which would it be? Listen to Nora from the Stock Explorer and see what she says. All right, everybody, so the stock I chose for this video is CRISPR. CRISPR has so many interesting features, but I'm going to talk about just a few of them. What CRISPR does basically, it's gene editing. Now, some people might call it gene vandalism. Uh, it's been called that because you are going into the genome and you are changing it. However, the therapy is changing it for the better and it's actually being used to cure disease. Now, one unique thing about CRISPR that I wanted to talk about and not forget to talk about is it not only helps human beings, but CRISPR is used to uh, edit the genes and crops that we grow to feed the world. Okay, so CRISPR has been used to improve uh, crop yield, improve disease resistance and things of that nature. So when you look at everything that's going on in the world, such as um, global warming and all the extreme weather events, all the droughts, all the wildfires, okay, you're going to have a company like CRISPR that's trying to improve those main crops, wheat, corn, soybeans, etc., that feed the world, but they're going to improve them so that they can withstand the drought, they can withstand the disease and things of that nature. But the thing I'm most excited about is that CRISPR changes the genome for humans. That so yeah, awesome. what do you guys think about CRISPR or maybe tell me what you might know about CRISPR? Can I start by um, saying um, that is a really good stock pick, uh, Nora. It's actually the second largest stock that I've got in my portfolio. So I really believe in this company. Nice. The only thing I would say about it is um, I unfortunately bought, bought it at the peak in January when it went high. So um, I'm suffering a little bit, but I, I can handle that. Now, if you would have asked me about this company 20 years ago, I wouldn't have touched it with a barge pole. In the UK, we had a company called Monsanto. And what they were doing... Right. Um, where they were sort of doing genetics with crops and there was such an outrage and out uproar about it and they were basically driven out of the country. But I think people now are coming to terms with gene therapy and um, the thing that I found most attractive about this company was that the cost of DNA sequencing has reduced. When, when they did the very first genome, it cost some, something crazy like $3 billion dollars and it took wow. okay about 13 years of computing power to actually generate this thing okay now now it's wow. gone down to less than a hundred dollars and it takes less than a day to do the dna sequencing so the costs of doing all these experiments and things just remarkable and it's done so quickly the other thing is also kathy wood is a big fan and um, an arc invest it's their I mean, this company is the market leader. There are other companies, but CRISPR AG is the market leader. And uh, as I say, Kathy Wood basically said that by 2025, because her researchers have looked into this, they've said that um, plants, animals, and crops will be disease resistant. And if that's true, that will be massive for the company. Wow. So that's my take on it. And so sort of big thumbs up from me. So a big thank you to Nora from the Stock Explorer. Nora runs the Stock Account Challenge on her account. She's involved in a private stock academy as well. So if you are a new investor, you might want to check out her channel. In the meantime, stay safe. If you've enjoyed my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more content. And I'll see you in the next one. My videos come out every Tuesday and Saturday. Thank you.